guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the brand new marquee matchup score video challenge very cheaply and very easily as well. It's a very, very easy method I will be showing you, and I've got some really good tips that will help you save a ton of coins on some of these score video challenges. And it's actually got a very, very good reward. You get a mega pack, which is a 35k pack for completing the whole thing, and you also get for completing each individual one an all players pack right here, 25k pack. You also get a 7.5k pack and finally a 15k pack. So you get quite a few decent rewards. There's a really good team of the week out as well. So lots of different players you could potentially get in those packs. And yeah, we're going to start off with the first one. This is the most expensive and it is Melbourne Victory against Sydney FC. You need one player from either Melbourne Victory or Sydney FC. Now that one there, you don't really need to worry too much about because you'll just generally have one of those players. As you build the team, the main cards that cost a lot are the midfielders, and I've got some really good tips to help you not have to spend too much compared to what you would if you didn't really think about this, because there are some pretty good tips you can do to really save yourself a few coins. You need exactly 11 players from the Hyundai League in Australia, and a minimum of six clubs. Again, same with Melbourne Victory and Sydney FC, having one player from one of those teams. You don't have to worry too much about that. Generally, just as you build the team, you'll end up finding that you have uh, at least six different clubs once you do complete the team. Uh, also, 90 chemistry at minimum, and 11 players in the team. Now, the main players who are very expensive are CDMs and attacking midfielders. You're going to need to buy one defensive midfielder to complete this uh, to get the right chemistry. Now, you can go and buy this guy right here. I got him for 350 coins, but that's because I invested in these cards about a month ago for the marquee matchups investments, which I did do a video on. But right now, these cards say they go for about 4K, the cheapest defensive midfielder. You don't have to go with Brillante. You can go with any uh, defensive midfielder of your choice from the Hyundai League. But you do need to buy one of them. But other than that, you can then go and get a random player. It doesn't matter what position they are in. Right and left wingers, since there aren't any in the formation for this, are the cheapest. So you then want to get just a random player, and it doesn't really matter who they are. Just use them off chemistry right here. In the defensive midfield position, he gets two chemistry. But I got him for 400 coins. I don't need to go and spend like 4k to get a defensive midfielder. Now, the attacking midfielders are also very expensive. They're about 4k as the cheapest on the market. So instead of going and getting attacking midfielders, what you want to do is go and just snipe some really cheap strikers. doesn't really matter who you get. You can get them for about 1,000 coins. So I've got Bruno Fornaroli right here. got this guy here for 1.2. And then I went and sniped this guy right here for 200 coins. Now, you get them as strikers quite cheaply. And then you want to go and get a striker to a sense forward card. That will cost you 700 coins. And then you can convert the player from a striker to a sense forward. And you can use them as a sense forward in the attack midfield position. And they'll get 8 chemistry. So you don't need to go and buy attack midfielders who would normally cost you about 4k. You're managing to get a player who you can play in that position for about 1.7, 1.8k uh, if you do convert them. Uh, up front, it doesn't really matter who you go with. It just has to be a striker from the Hyundai League. So just get the cheapest you can get. He cost me 200 coins. And again, I did end up sniping him. That's something I would recommend. You can get a lot of deals by just sniping bronze guys for a lot of the positions in this team. In the defense, you are going to need two centre-backs and a goalkeeper who are in the right position. So obviously you need two centre-backs and a goalkeeper. And then you can go with... Uh, one left or right back in the right position and then uh, you can go with another centre back or you can go with a right back in the left back position because you do only need 90 chemistry so if you do want to you can go with I think you can even go with like a right mid in the right back position uh, no you can't actually it has to be um, basically a right back in the right position or a left back in the right position can you go with a right mid in that position no no you can't right there so yeah, what you're going to need to do is, just to run over it again, you want to get strikers, convert them to centre forwards, and use them in the attack midfield positions. That's very, very uh, cheaper, or a lot cheaper than normal. I mean, you're still spending like 2k on them, but it's better than spending about 4k. Defensive midfielders, you only need to buy one of them, which will cost you about 4k, uh, which is quite a lot, but you just need to do that to complete the score with a challenge. Then just get a random player. Right wingers seem to be the cheapest, and just use them in the other defensive midfield position. Then get a striker to get two centre backs, a goalkeeper. And then you can just get a left back and right back, or if maybe right back's quite expensive, just put a left back there or centre back, and you should be good. And that's the first one complete. This one will cost you quite a bit because the cards are quite rare, but if you did invest for it, it'll be very cheap. Or if you do manage to snipe some cards as well, it's pretty cheap. Next up, we've got Stad Rene against Nantes in Ligue 1. This team right here, you need one player from Nantes, one player from Stad Rene. You also need uh, seven French players at minimum. You need a minimum of four rare players. Uh, you need a team rating of 78 at minimum. And also 85 chemistry. Now, if you don't want to go full league on, you can if you want, but to save a couple of hundred coins, I'd recommend going into another league just because out of the moment players in league are pretty overpriced. So what you want to go with is just go with a random league on striker, it doesn't really matter who it is. Uh, for your players from the two teams, Nantes and Ren, I would recommend just sniping them. So I got this guy right here for 400 coins, ended up sniping him from Ren. And then this guy right here, 
I just went went and picked up cheapest on the market for 3.8k. He was just the cheapest player from uh, Ren when I first started. No, actually not from Ren, from uh, from Nantes. I think he was the cheapest guard when I actually did this the first time. Um, I think their prices will have dropped down slightly. But all you need is just go and get one player from each of those teams, and then. You just want to build the team just with other French players from other leagues. So I've just gone with a couple of cards here to then just link down to some French players who aren't in Ligue 1. Because they're just slightly cheaper. Uh, you can go with maybe like Eunice Cabal or something like that. Just because they're in different leagues, they're a lot cheaper than the players in Ligue 1. Well, they're, they're not a lot cheaper, but they're a couple of hundred coins cheaper. Since a lot of people do just go and build a Ligue 1 team as it is a bit simpler. And uh, yeah, the rare cards, you can just go with like silver cards. These are really cheap and cheaper than the uh, rare gold cards. And uh, I add these cards here as untradeables with Tremoli, Nas, Kabai, and Sacco. So I just use them. Uh, but yeah, for this one here, I'd recommend just getting some French players from other leagues other than Ligue 1 just because it's a bit cheaper. Uh, because then you can go with, for example, uh, Routledge right here in the left mid position to get a link to my CDM. Rather than having to get a left mid from the French league because they are quite a bit more expensive than, uh, for example, in the Premier League. And then right back, I just went with a random player because you do only need 85 chemistry. I didn't really need to go and get a French player there. So this one's quite simple. Just get a player from Nantes and a player from Rennes and then just build a team around them that manages to get the right chemistry and you don't need to go full league on so you can use some players from other leagues and then you can link those players into other players from the same league that you manage to get those players from. So that one's quite easy and this one actually gets us a decent pack. It gets us a 25k pack and it's one of the ones that has th three rare players in. Full up against Hull, this one here. You can complete very, very cheaply and this is one that I've seen quite a few people overspending on. Hull players are more expensive than Fulham players at the moment. So I'd recommend going and getting uh, just a random player from Fulham. I'd recommend going with two Fulham players. This guy right here you can get for about 1,000 coins right now. Uh, so go and get Aite. And then it doesn't really matter who you get. Just get any player from Hull. I went with this goalkeeper because I had him as an untradeable. But it will cost you like 1.5k. So basically all you want to do is just go with Aite as he's really cheap in the left mid position. And then you can just go with a random player from Hull. Uh, not from Hull, sorry, from Fulham in the left back position. So just go with two Fulham players and then uh, you can just build a silver team around them because the, the player quality minimum is silver. I went with this league right here which is the Raffielsen, the Swiss league, just because there are loads of really cheap silver cards. And all these cards will cost you 200 coins. Uh, so yeah, all you want to do is just go with the Aite and then just a random Fulham player in the left back position. And then the rest of the team you can just build it out of very cheap silver cards uh, from a league that's got a lot of silvers like the Raffielsen. So that one there, very, very easy and very, very cheap to complete as well. And I do see quite a few people overspending, building like four championship teams or using gold cards they don't really need to use. And the final one is RB Leipzig against Hoffenheim. This one, very simple. You just need to build a full Bundesliga team. You do need exactly 11 Bundesliga players. You just want to make a full Bundesliga team with two rare players in. And the rare players are very cheap right now because lots of packs are coming out. And all you need is just two players from RB Leipzig or Hoffenheim. I just went with these two guys here as I had them as a first owner untradeable cards in my club. It doesn't really matter though, just get the cheapest uh, players from RB Leipzig or Hoffenheim. You need two of them in total, so just get two and put them in the team. Just get the cheapest you can and then just build a full Bundesliga team around them. Very, very easy right there. And this also does get us a 15k pack, which is not too bad. And that does also complete the marquee matchups, as you guys can see right here. So I think that is going to be all of this stuff right here done. So let's go on into the packs and see what we can get. Maybe we can get one of those new informs like Lewandowski or something like that who's in this week's Team of the Week. So we've got five packs right here. The first one is an all players pack. So this is 12 players for each of bronze, silver and gold with at least one rare. These packs aren't really that good. Although I have seen a few people get some decent cards in them. We actually get a rare card, a uh, rare gold card, which is not too bad. It's going to be David V. I don't really think he sells for anything, but that does mean we can get some non-rare silvers that could sell for a lot. And this guy here, I think he may sell for a bit. I think he, yes. What a pack. What a pack. This guy goes for like, I, I knew he, I knew this guy would sell because he plays for um, uh, Sporting KC and they're like the most expensive team for the Giovinco Scorbida Challenge. He goes for like nearly 9,000. I'll list him for 8.9. That's actually so, so good. Like we've just got a silver card that goes for 8.9k. These packs are actually decent because non rare silvers actually often sell for quite a bit. This guy here goes for like 2,000 coins, which is not bad there either because um, he does play in the Portuguese league. And um, yeah, that's actually a decent pack right there. Also, we managed to get an Australian player. The bronze pack method, I imagine, right now is probably very, very effective. Uh, but this guy here goes for around about 1.9k. So this is not bad at all right there. I'll list them up. I think they actually sell for a bit more because I went and bought one 
uh, for that squad builder challenge just a minute before recording this video um, and then I'll send these guys to the club just uh, in case they're needed for future squad builder challenges I always just uh, send cards like that to the club quick sell the rest that was actually a great pack that we've got like 12 13k back from that not bad at all we've got a premium gold pack right here coming up this is going to be a seven and a half k pack also just before this video I, I opened some of the 100k packs that they had in the store for 50k with the new kind of like half price packs and I ended up getting I think four walkouts and an inform so if you guys do want to see uh, that actual pack opening there then uh, be sure to leave a comment down below get Pep Guardiola in the pack um, but yeah if you guys do want to see uh, that pack opening I opened uh, a couple of 100k packs then uh, leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below I'll be able to do that for you guys um, and try and upload that tonight but yeah we do have a 15k pack to open right here as well if we get like one in form one walkout even just like a big flare like an 84 or something that's going to be Kuyate right there Check Kuyate from West Ham uh, quite a decent player on this game if you didn't know already um, do we get any players who we could sell potentially maybe Hilton will sell just because he's in the league um, other than that though don't get too much we get two fitness guys they actually sell for like one and a half k right now um, which is not too bad so we're gonna we're gonna send that to the club quick sell the rest and now we've got the two good packs. We've got the Mega Pack and the Premium Gold Players Pack. So Premium Gold Players Pack, I've never had a walkout in any of my marquee matchups videos. I don't even know if I have in any of my Squad Challenge videos opening the rewards from those. Also, talking about rewards, I will actually have uh, a monthly uh, Elite pack opening from, from Foot Champions coming out um, in the next couple, in the, in the next week or so, I think. Um, because one of my subscribers said they would lend me their account and they are the, I think they're, they're currently in elite for the month mega pack here we go what can we get nothing uh, yeah they're currently in elite for the month and uh, well Willems that is awful they're currently in, in, in elite 2 I think for the month and they said that I can borrow their account and open their rewards so the the, uh, the red inform cards I can open them for a video so I will actually have a pack opening of those cards coming out um, in uh, in a week or so but we don't actually get any cards in here from like any of the leagues which have scored challenges, which is quite annoying. But look at that. That is like 7k worth of uh, fitness cards right there. That is very, very good. Um, and overall, that's a decent pack, I think, other than these couple of items down here. Um, we can sell pretty much everything we get in that pack, which is uh, which is not bad. Um, or just keep them in the club, which is what I will do right now. Um, and there we go. I will quick sell the rest of that, I think, right there for 1.2k. So that was actually a decent rewards um, compared to what I spent, I probably spent around about 25k on this, um, maybe a little bit less, because I did get quite a few of the players uh, for the Australian one um, a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, we ended up getting, I think, 12k back from the first pack. We obviously got that silver card, which sells for quite a lot. Uh, and then we got a few decent players, and I got pretty bad players, really. If you think about what I was opening, 35k packs, 25k packs, you'd expect to get a couple of high rates players. So I think I got quite bad packs despite getting that silver card. So I think a lot of you guys will probably get better packs than me and get better rewards than me. So I would recommend uh, opening um, the packs you do get. Well, obviously you'll open them. But I would recommend completing the Scorbida Challenge and actually getting the packs from it. Because right now there are loads and loads of cards that do sell for a lot. You guys saw with the silvers there. Also bronze players uh, from the Hyundai League do sell for a decent amount right now. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing the Scorbida Challenge. And um, yeah, hopefully it will help you out this video right here, uh, especially with the Hyundai League one, just to show you some tips. So you don't need to spend too much by getting those midfielders. If you convert strikers down centre forwards, you can use them, and you can also use a random player instead of a CDM. And uh, yeah, it's quite cheap. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, I have done a video on how to complete the brand new um, Lunar New Year Scorpio Challenge to get, I think it's a 25k pack in a kit. I did a video on that. Well, I did a live stream actually. Uh, so if you do want to go and check back on my channel. I did a live stream uh, where I opened some packs and things on there, and in that stream I did show how to complete that very cheaply. So if you guys do want to know how to do that, then be sure to check the stream out. But uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, very close to 20,000 subscribers. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.